All right, so I am finally getting the game of Infinity down. Uh, we've played before, Michael and I, and I played with some friends of mine too, but it's been a little while, and I've done a lot of work on terrain and painting, and Michael's done some help with some paint and some videos. So we're getting to the table. We've got a special mission that I built. Um, we're, there's a couple objective points on the table, these barrels, the wood barrels. Are, are if you get next to him and do a whip roll, you investigate the barrel. So the scenario is, is that there was a crash. This spaceship with the trucks crashed and it was carrying illicit cargo. And so we're illicit? investigating. What's yes, illicit? Ill illegal. Ooh. So we're investigating. So one investigation point is that barrel. One is this. Um, and then um, I have a terminal inside the cab the, of the spaceship. So that's it. And then we've got some just a lot of scatter. We've got some rocks and some more barrels along. And then we've got some crates in various disarray and some trees and some bushes and some shrubbery. So we'll talk real quick. Michael won initiative and took side because he did not want to give me the sniper tree. So he's got an Algolcer up in the, I'm sorry, a, a, um, a, um, a, um, a fusilier paramedic. paramedic. Thank you. Michael knows his units, thankfully up in the tree and he's got his doctor down there with a um, total reaction bot, I think, um, is what that one is. The Sierra drone bot with total reaction. Crab bot, no? No, no, that's the one that's attached to the duodenum. Um, I think it's the Sierra, Sierra drone bot. Sierra yeah. drone bot. And, and then over there is the pal bot that's slave to the it's doctor. It's got presence and total reaction. Hiding around on the other side of this ginormous tree is the Jodum, who is his lieutenant and will probably be doing all the things. And then uh, my units deployed, I've got an Algocer there and there, and here in group with um, some other guys, I've got my Grenzer sniper and my, um, my Gecko and my Sin Eater and my Mobile Regatta, uh, really just kind of trying to lock down with some reaction. And um, we're also going to get points for destroying the uh, killing lieutenants and we're going to get points for... Um, uh, for destroying more of the army than the other guy does. So, um, I'm gonna go first here. We're not gonna do video the whole way through. We'll do some photos here and there, and then we'll, um, bring out the video when something really interesting happens. Enjoy. All right, so we finished my turn. I started by moving some guys up. It was relatively uneventful. Moved these two guys up to try and get to some, cover some objectives. Moved him up to cover some firing lanes. And then I moved my, um, uh, uh, yes, the ill-fated um, uh, gecko up to here. And he took some fire from the Jotam across and from the Agusil that was, um, I'm, not, I'm sorry, from the um, Fusilier that was sitting in the tree. I shot back at the Fusilier and took her out big time. But the Jotam hit me with um, his EXP ammo and did two damage. But the problem was I was out in the open here, so I went to get down into some cover the Jotam hit me again. The drone bot shot at me, but missed. The Jotam over there hit, and I took three more damage and thoroughly exploded. So big dude removed from the table, which is bad for me. Um, then I moved my mobile Bugatta up. I was trying to cover this lane here for when the Jotam did his advance, and the Jotam um, shot at me through that gap in the trees, and... Um, and uh, did two damage. So now my um, lieutenant is lying on his back behind a shrub. I'm gonna win by only ever moving my Jotam and not completing any objectives and at all. to be fair, you haven't even moved your Jotam yet. You've just stood him there and blown me up. Yes. Because you so, moved in front of my line of vision. That's your fault. So, and the only other thing I did was I moved an Agusil over here behind the mountain because he thought that was his best plan with the Jotam on the table. Um, so not a good turn for me. I'm down my biggest piece and my second strong one of my other strong pieces is down um, I do still have people on the table who can achieve objectives and maybe I'm just gonna try and hide and achieve objectives But we'll see um, As it is now time for Michael to do his turn and we'll see how much havoc the Jotam can wreck when he gets to actually do his full burst so Michael just got talk, done telling me he was crushing me, which is true. So what has happened? The Jotam moved out from around the corner and um, uh, blew up the Agusil that was standing here. He was trying to dodge out of the way. That was a bad spot I put him in, and I was kind of thinking that when I did it. But the, the Jotam can actually see over that tree and, and just blew him up. Um, then he um, dropped um, his uh, commando right there, 
and blew up my Sin Eater from behind. He's unconscious. Um, so that didn't go very well. What else did you do? Um, I, um, uh, I deployed my crab bot. And got deployed crab bot, bot and got the crab bot um, up to the to the, the the barrel and got a point. And then he brought his other A call command over there. Um, I had a bunch of reactions, most of which were uh, dodges that failed or um, change facings that failed or just a random, you know, shot from the middle of nowhere down that gap there that would miss wildly. So a uh, terrible turn for me and a um, uh, good turn for Michael. And so we're one turn down. We'll see if I can pull this out of the bag. This is going to be the quickest infinity I'm down game we've ever played. It, it could be pretty quick, yes. I'm just going to like put a shotgun here with Lieutenant's head. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Not going over the whole table. So I've recovered slightly, slightly. So we started the turn without our lieutenant. Everyone's irregular. My Algusair makes a dash over the bush here to shoot him with her medikit. Um, and the, the ACOL commando... Wrong. No, 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 no. Shoot him. It, 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 it delivers the nanoparticles to him by 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 projectile syringe and that to bring him back to no life. Sense, Dad. Oh, come on, it's high tech. It's high tech. The future's weird. Meanwhile, the A call commando here takes a shot at her. Um, this will be an interesting question for the internet. We treated that as a face to face roll, uh, which I won. So then. If um, that's a lie, then that means I win this game if I lose. Well, you're probably going to win the game anyways. So then the... No, I the I the the Easy. Stop the kicking the table. So then the mobile com the mobile com uh, brigada actually made his roll and popped back up. Um, over here, my Grenzer walked around very calmly around the, the um, rock there to get a nice shot at the A-Call Commando down there. And uh, he took him out. Um, and then uh, my other Agosel... Uh, wandered around to the edge of this rock because he's a little bit afraid that this a call commando is going to poke his head over the top of the ridge and start blowing people up with his boarding shotgun. Um, so, um, mild success for me here. Um, I.e., I did not lose anybody and I actually got another guy back onto the table. So, and I took out one of Michael's guys, but um, Michael definitely still has board presence. My guys are all Dad. pinned here in the back. He's got one objective down, he's got control of the ridge. Um, so, you know, we'll see halfway through the game. All right, so we had a great battle over here between um, my uh, mobile brigada who had just recovered from having been shot by the Jotam. I, re I spent and the four Jotam. turns killing him and it finally Yeah, although the first, the first turn and a half was you getting the crab bot back to base and then the Jotam let loose with uh, three barrages before I finally before, went down. To three and a half. Three and a half, three, before I finally succumbed to uh, um, I beat him with one and then he took a damage. I took one damage. And damage. then the second, we had a tie on the face to face, and then the third, you crushed me. Uh, the bullets hit in midair. Yeah, the second one. Because that's and then. Awesome. For your, your last order, you moved your doctor up here and the Palbot down here, which was a really good move because the Palbot now is is could probably get into there for... Which is where the terminal is, is for the, the right, next objective. For two points there. And over here, you could get to that barrel for, for one point. And Michael, actually, um, if you do all of that, and assuming that you manage to beat me on points for army units, which seems likely then um, you'll have a complete victory. But um, we're going to take a break and then do our last turns each uh, another time. Uh, so we'll probably finish this up soon. It's all over. Um, I didn't do a video after my last turn, which was pretty boring. I only had three people up. We had the um, my Agosil medic. Oh, and thanks thanks for the internet um, explaining that we did do that wrong and we were should have done... There, this was not a face-to-face -face roll last turn, a couple turns ago when... She made her dramatic run to get my mobile brigada back up and got shot by Michael's um, um, A call commando. Ha! But um, she ended up, we went back and redid it and she made her arm roll. So, um, so she stayed up. Um, but then what happened was, um, so I moved her over to here actually on my turn and tried to medic back my Sin Eater up. And uh, uh, she got him, she did her part. But the Sin Eater failed his role, so he died. 
And then over here, I kind of repositioned some guys for some AROs because I couldn't do much else because, again, out of commander. So I, um, no lieutenant, so I had to just uh, do some irregular orders because I did have this convoluted plan where I was going to try and get my sniper in range of the, the Jotam, uh, but I, didn't have, I couldn't do it with the irregular orders. Um, so then on Michael's turn, he moved one of his A calls over here. Um, I failed my change facing roll um, way down there. My um, my medic took a pot shot and missed because from forever away into partial cover, and then that Is a call the commando. Right? Yes, and then my that a call commando of Michael's um, took the Grenzer out, who again failed to turn around and um, the pot shot again missed. So then the field pretty clear. Um, Michael ran the medic up to that objective and got the power close and yeah, then actually the power made it. next turn next action he got the power bot a short order to the terminal and then um, they both did their uh, whip rolls to investigate the power bot made theirs the doctor did not um, which is the only reason Michael failed to um, win this uh, mission 10 up uh, 10 to nothing, because uh, doing that objective was worth a point. Um, and then because he had a lieutenant order left, the Jotam leaped over the log and tried to flamethrower my poor Because I really just wanted to use the flamethrower because why not? Because we, we haven't used flamethrowers flame a lot. And uh, that doctor, who was pretty heroic and probably the only person on this team deserving of a promotion, um, also one of only two alive, um, she, um, yeah, she dodged. Because yeah. she made like every single roll she had any reasonable expectation to make um but um that was it so michael just completely whooped up because here's here's my dead units the only my, unit michael lost in the game was one um you lost one of your light infantry dudes right you yeah. lost uh and um michael's busy cleaning up his army so what do you michael what do you think what was the key to your victory here Mr. Jodum, don't, I don't want to put him on that. That's not going to, well, I guess maybe he will. Um, yeah, Mr. Jodum did some damage. He got a good, a couple good you know arrows in over there. In the next setup I do, I'm just going to put the Jodum. Get the Jodum in the tree. And I'm just going to use the flamethrower. <laughs> Jodum is sniper. I, I think my big mistake too was um, I couldn't get um, the, um, I couldn't get, I, 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 when I was here with my, um, with this unit and I was, uh, exchanging fire with the Jotam, I made the mistake of using the rifle and not using my ECM. And maybe if you use the ECM, it would have gone differently. Ah, uh, you know. No one knows. That wasn't the right, it wasn't the right tool for the job that I had there. And I'm just looking to see if, what the range on that sucker is, right? So... The Gecko's got, not the ECM, that's not what I meant. He's got a Chain Colt and a Blitzen. Would that have been, would that have been better? No, the Chain Colt is a template. The Blitzen, the Blitz, yeah, see the Blitzen's what I should have used. Because it's got the Electro, the, the EM2 ammo, which is really nice. And so instead of doing one damage to the Jotam, I might have taken him out. And then that would have completely changed the nature of this battle. And that oh, was... yeah. If you took the Jotam out... Um, I would have during, immobilized him. During that, then you would have... Then you might yeah. have actually... Then you might have actually had actually a chance. I, I don't think have. you would have won. I think I would have won. But well, you still did make, make had really good use with you. I mean, you, you, you credit the Jotam with a lot of that win. But the A-Call Commandos did some damage. Came in behind, took out the Sin Eater... Dropped in here and really took control of that ridge. I was I was just trying to use the egg hole commands to cause a big distraction so I could get all all my guys to the terminals and then and then just like blow everyone up with the Jotam. Yeah, no, and that, that worked. And one thing I think from a from a map building perspective, from a table building perspective, I think I should have. At one point, I had these over here when I was building the table, uh, which acted as ladders up. And otherwise, you'd have to do a, a climb to get up here, and I thought, well, that's fun. We don't use climb rules much, but there's a reason why. It's a whole full order action. You come up, and then once he got his A-Call Commando over there, I couldn't come up because I'd come up and sit in the open and get shot and then move. Uh, and also, I spent the entire game 
um, without uh, regular orders because um, you kept yeah, he killing was gonna, my he lieutenant. Yeah, he was going to try to use all his orders to kill my Jordan, which, by the way, wouldn't have worked. Um, and he later realized that they were all irregular. So yeah. So the other thing I need to do better a better job of is um, keeping my lieutenant from getting just destroyed because my lieutenant was not a Jotam, so he was not able to survive firefights as easily. And actually, he died twice. <laughs> okay, well, he, he went unconscious twice, uh, died once. But, but um, fun time? Yeah. All right, so here's this battle report for, uh, for uh, our first game of Infinity in a while. And Michael's closing the door on that session.